Hey guys, it's Kerry. I hope you enjoy these animals as much as I do. Giant Panda. The mating season is between March and May when a female goes into estrus. This lasts for two or three days and only occurs once a year. When mating, the female is in a crouching, head down position as the male mounts her from behind. Copulation time is short, ranging from 30 seconds to 5 minutes. The male may mount her repeatedly to ensure successful fertilisation. So happy to see the panda walking around instead of sleeping. They can easily stand on their hind legs and are often found somersaulting, rolling and dust bathing. Tiger. After making a kill and consuming what it can eat, it makes an attempt to hide the carcass from other scavengers like vultures so they can eat some more when they're hungry. The tiger is an apex predator and helps control populations of other predators such as the leopard, the Asiatic wild dog and clouded leopard. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Rhinoceros. They have poor eyesight but acute senses of hearing and smell. They are known to charge at humans with little provocation, especially if there are calves around. The Indian rhinoceros is the largest of the three Asian rhinos. Indian rhinos live in some of the world's tallest grasslands where at the end of the summer monsoon the grass can be 7 metres or 23 feet tall. American bison is native to North America. Compared to cattle or oxen, it is larger and has a broad heavy head that is carried low and cannot be raised to shoulder level. There is also a hump at the shoulders. The fur is shaggy and dark brown. It grows especially long on the head, neck and shoulders and usually forms a beard on the chin. On rare occasions, a white bison is born. These unusual specimens were especially honoured and even worshipped by the American Indians. Both sexes bear short, upcurved horns. Lion. They proclaim their territory by roaring and by scent marking. Their distinctive roar can be heard in the evening before a night's hunting and again before getting up at dawn. Males also proclaim their presence by urinating on bushes, trees or simply on the ground, leaving a pungent scent behind. Defecation and rubbing against bushes leaves different scent markings. Lionesses living in the open savannah do most of the hunting, whereas the males typically appropriate their meals from the females' kills. Okapi is a cub chewing hoofed mammal that is placed along with a giraffe in the family Giraffidae. It is found in the rainforests of the Congo region. The Okapi's coat is sleek and deep brown, almost purple, with the sides of the face pale white and the forehead and ears may have a dull reddish look. The stripes are located on their buttocks, thighs and the tops of the forelegs. C. 
zebra. They are closely related to domestic horses. They are large single hoofed animals adapted for speed and long distance migrations. When food is plentiful, the small groups of zebras may merge temporarily into large herds while keeping their group identity. Frequently zebras form mixed herds with other animals such as giraffes and wildebeest. The zebra's keen sense of hearing helps protect these animals from predators. Alligators are large reptiles with powerful tails that are used in both swimming and defence. This female has got three hatchlings on her back. They belong to the order Crocodilia, which includes true crocodiles, gavials and caimans. Only two species of alligator exist and they both live along the edges of permanent bodies of fresh water such as lakes, swamps and rivers. The larger one is the more common American alligator and the smaller and lesser known one is the Chinese alligator. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and answer all your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.